Yo, what's up, dudes? What is up? <laughs> well, I'm here to show you this. A new base for the basement. God, the jokes, they write themselves. So this is, as you can see, a Vola base. Um, I did a video a couple of weeks ago with a uh, an Ibanez from the late 80s that I had picked up online. It had a lot of problems, and so I wound up returning it. And uh, Vola must have seen it, and they were like, hey, you know, uh, we make bases. I'm like, really? Which I kind of knew, but, you know, I haven't been, uh, I haven't seen them at NAM. They weren't at NAM 2024, and the last time I went was in 2020. So, like, I didn't really remember. It's like I knew that they've had bases for years now, but I just forgot about it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, right. And they're like, you know, they, they don't make a ton of basses. I think they make a five string and a couple of four strings and, you know. But they do have basses. And I, they were like, you know, we can we can send you a bass if you need a bass. And you want to check one out? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, this is an alder body with a maple neck. Um, it's all Goto hardware as far as I know. That's a Goto bridge and Goto tuners. Let me down here. And um, as you can see, it's got the PJ, so precision in the neck and jazz in the bridge for the pickup uh, layout. And um, <clears throat> let's just, maybe in this cam here, I can show you about the electronics. So, master volume right there. This is a, you can still hear it, but that's a passive switch, passive, active. I really like the active switch. So I left that on. Um, this goes in between the two pickups, so right now it's both, but that's just the neck. And there's just the bridge. And there's the neck. And just the bridge. both and then these are uh, active EQ so right now they're dead center so this is I think boosting treble right normal treble and cutting treble and the same with the mid a boosting mid, normal mid, and cutting mid, and then bass, um, adding bass, normal bass, and cutting bass. And I just have them sort of all in the middle, sort of all notched up, you know. I 
takes a while to get used to. Um, but the one thing that's uh, good about this bass, and the Ibanez bass was sort of the same way, it's a very guitar-friendly neck. You know, it's still a bass neck. You know, it's not the same dimensions as a guitar neck, that's for sure. But it's not at this big, giant, jumbo, friggin' neck where you're like, ugh. <laughs> right? It's a huge change from the, you know, the neck you're used to playing, you know, on a guitar. This is a little bit thicker, but uh, as you can even see on camera, it's, it's a fairly a compact and a very, very playable neck. It is, in terms of thickness thicker than even their vintage guitar neck but not by much just a little bit thicker so this is really like a modern bass neck um it's a very modern carb so uh i think it's a very guitar player friendly bass neck and i really like that it doesn't feel like you're like m making a huge change in the size of the neck uh versus you know uh playing guitar uh it does take a while to get used to scale length though <laughs> Lines, you know, um, <laughs> I, I do not have the gallop down. Really need a pick for that. Might be a little easier with a with a pick. I don't think he hit it. I think he. Yeah, I think he was plugging it. Didn't want to sound too funky, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you the back here. Uh, as you can see, it's got a, a couple of battery compartments, <clears throat> as you can see down here, because it uses an 18-volt system. And you might say, well, why? You know, why 18 volts instead of uh, 9 volts? Uh, because you actually get more headroom in the, uh, uh, in the circuit, right, in the signal path by using the 18 volts uh, preamp instead of the 9 volt. Um, some guitar players switch to that. I, th I think Zach Wilde was doing that, or maybe he still does switch to an 18 volt because it had the higher headroom. 
Um, it just means that you're not going to get a lot of breakup like in the guitar. I was fooling around with uh, some uh, distortion pedals that could take up to 18 volts. And uh, it was a little weird. <clears throat> when you added all that headroom, it, it, it like sort of struggled to break up a little bit, right? So uh, it's not good for all applications, but when you want a nice clean bass tone, that's where all that headroom, you know, really comes in. I knew b more bass lines. Uh. Um, one last thing <clears throat> I'm actually running through THU. Again, I sort of forgot, they actually have a couple of bass amps. I was like, oh, right. That's right, they toss in like just one or two bass amps. I think there might be three total bass amps. I was like, cool. So I just went through, they have a, actually a, uh, a bank that's nothing but their bass stuff. I just went through there and until uh, I found a patch I liked and this was it. We can try some. That's the classic. Vintage, vintage scoop, vintage booze. Uh, vintage compressed. Classic flat. have a distortion but it doesn't <laughs> Digging, I have to learn more bass stuff. <laughs> I uh, I don't play bass all that often. You know, I tried to just do the bass stuff with the synths, but it just sounds too synthy. They sound good, but it just sounds like a synth. So then you try some of the bass guitars that they have on there. They just don't sound real. They don't sound natural. Um, like just like the guitars really don't sound natural on the synths. They've been getting better with some of the sample bass stuff. Um, but it, it's, it's still not quite there. It does sound a little robotic. So I said, you know, I gotta get my bass going. And uh, then I was on a hunt for a bass. And now I finally have a bass I can use on a regular basis. They write themselves. All right. No, you rock. Uh, this is the Vola. 
uh, what do they call this? Something, something four for the four string. It's the ZVA 4P. I knew there was a four in there. And um, I believe, I don't know if the M, is the MF the color designation? No. No, so it's available in charcoal frost metallic gloss and a candy apple red gloss. And uh, again, these are made in Japan. And uh, yeah, 34 inch scale, if I didn't mention that. And I think that's about it. The one other thing I didn't mention that I'm seeing here, so let's just get the name down. The name is Boy, they're making me work here. The Vola ZVA 4P MF. Of course. I need the letters MF in all my bases. That or the BMF. Um, BAMF? Look, the point is, I didn't mention the bag. It comes with a Vola bag. Now, Vola makes a couple different bags. One bag looks more like a regular bag, right? Like you'd get from Fender or whatever. Then they have this other bag that's a little bit more deluxe. It's a little bit nicer. It has side walls. I think it really elevates more to a soft case than a bag. That, that's my opinion. Um, so uh, that's what comes with this. Uh, I don't have it next to me, but I can show it on cam like right here. And you can see what the uh, um, with the, uh, the the bag look. They call it a bag, but it really is. I, I have a couple of Volas with that style soft case, and I believe it is more of a soft case than a bag. That's just my, again. That's just my opinion. They call it a they call it a bag. Anyway, this is the Vola. What's that? In it? What's, what is that again? ZVA ZVA 4P MF in candy apple red <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be going on a, I'm gonna be going on a whole run learning uh, bass lines. Cause uh, you know, it's fun, right? Nice diversion. So uh, I will leave links in the description for uh, more information. And always try my code SFB5. It uh, it'll save you five percent off of your order. And uh, as as affordable as these are, it's always great to save a little bit more money. Well, how much are these? Are they fourteen? What are they? Eleven twenty nine. These are pretty inexpensive. Made in Japan. Yeah, handmade in Japan. Right there. Yeah. Pretty good. I like it. <laughs> oh, it's got some weight, too. Mm. Nice stuff. All right, dudes. Links in the description. As always, thanks so much for hanging out and rock on.